y cynnig dynereid i'r Prentis Shed bod nhw'n cael mynd i coleg minnau i wneud i sgiliau chweddol. Hyna yn reid cymorth iddyn nhw i wella i sgiliau, ac i wedi dim pasio ar sgiliau ymlaen i'r plant os sydd angen. I think especially um, with people with no experiences that are working on the apprenticeship um, programme, um, we always start with the, obviously a complete induction. Um, people are mentored um, by, by a member of staff and before they'd work any independent shifts, they'd have a shadow um, system for depending on the level um, for a week, two weeks, where they'd be working alongside somebody for those for that period. Um, following that, with the um, apprenticeship, the, the relationship with the assessor and the training that they provide is very important and we try and work closely with the assessor, try and see how they're going with their work, making sure that the work is being completed, it's being handed in, the observations are you know, going well, um, and, but they do need a good relationship with the assessor to make sure that's possible um, and the providing company really so if you have a good relationship they can tailor it to the people's needs. We've had people with dyslexia, people with language difficulties, if English wasn't their first language um, for their documentation things like that and they've supported them through that it hasn't been a stumbling block to the completing the qualification it's just they might need it through a different um, medium that's all in our industry obviously you're working on a, a ratio with children three to one on the under twos uh, four to one on the two-year-olds and eight to one obviously a much harder working area I keep on being told on the children over three so when they come in into an environment straight away it's a busy on you know hands on go 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 you may, um, with the students, we, we encourage them to have a mentor within the room, somebody they can ask questions without feeling in any way it was a silly question. They've got to feel positive and it doesn't matter. I say to the staff all the time, ask the question. If you don't ask, you won't know and you could do something wrong. And it's the staff team I have are very supportive, both to children, both to trainees, both to students who come in on placements and also visitors to the premises because obviously you're new in an environment you don't know how they work and it's amazing to see the trainees now telling the students how to do something because it's how they've been shown and what they experience they talk to the parents because they've seen they've seen us in action they see how we do it and it's it's that mentoring process that's a continual process we also sit down have a chat see how they're getting on with the training was the questions they understood okay what's your answer to that question how did you find it? Was it easy? How's your tutor? It's giving them continual feedback all the time in an ongoing system. And it's important for them to feel confident that they can come in if they've got a query, that they can raise a concern if they see something they're not sure how it was, um, and not feel in any way embarrassed or uneasy about raising it. Because a lot of the training they'll do, whether it be child protection, first aid, um, fly and start training, any of the training they do, it's important that they understand what is being delivered to them and they can digest it and react on it. In our business, it's important.